the splendor of it all is just spectacular. Anyone that's seen pictures, it doesn't do it justice. We are here to support, uh, to, to rebuild together, um, and just incredibly impressed at the team that Cam um, has here at the park. Interior Secretary Deb Holland offers her full support for getting a road open between Gardner and Mammoth as soon as possible. We've gotten money freed up thanks to the Secretary uh, and the Secretary of Transportation, up to $60 million uh, that we can put to use immediately to reconnect Gardner and Cook City in those corridors, and we're gonna do just that before winter. But a long-term solution is a much harder task. Sholly predicts it will take three to five years to rebuild the washed out roads at a cost that is estimated by a congressional committee at a billion dollars, but which Sholly says is still unknown. There'll be a range of what it, what it costs based on what is the least environmentally in, impacting, what is the most expeditious, what is the best cost investment, a variety of other criteria that we look at as we put those, those numbers together. I got many calls from uh, uh, my former colleagues in Congress who are um, incredibly supportive of how we're going to rebuild. Signs like this and destroyed roads have not intimidated everyone who wanted to come visit the park. We were gonna come with her sister and a, and a big party coming out from Pennsylvania, but they, uh, they had to cut their short as well. Uh, and so we decided again, flipping that coin, came up heads, and here we are. Uh, and I'm really glad we made that decision. We were coming, or if, if, whether we saw Yellowstone or not, we were going to see, you know, the Montana and Idaho, and there's a lot, a lot to see here. You really can't do it all in one trip. Right over here, you can see some of the construction equipment being used to rebuild the old Gardner Road. It's sort of a back way between Mammoth and Gardner. It takes off up the hill over the top of this equipment over here. That road will be paved so that it may be used this winter as an access to the northern part of the park. In Yellowstone National Park at Mammoth, John Shearer, MTN News.